she worked in 1947. These are no match to uh, Levi's 501 1947. According to Sugarcane, are a faithful reproduction to these iconic jeans. Let's do a review, see how the characteristics and how close are to the original. Also, I want to compare with one pair of Levi's 501 1947 belong to the vintage line. See you inside. Okay, these are the uh, Sugarcane 1947. Uh, before to start with the review, let's talk about the company itself. Sugarcane uh, is a company that born in 19. 75 under the umbrella of Toshio Enterprise. The main, the main purpose of this uh, company was to produce uh, fabric, but they decided to get into the, uh, into the production of uh, jeans. They take 20 years to develop the, the dating that they um, wanted to produce the, the, this um, model 90, uh, 1947 which is the reproduction of uh, Levi's 501-1947 and is, uh, according to, to the company, is a faithful reproduction of, uh, of this uh, uh, Levi's 501-1947. Then, what is the, the characteristic of these jeans? The uh, first one is between the, 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 all the brands that produce denim is one of the most affordable in terms of uh, 1947, a reproduction of uh, that time. The aim of this company at the beginning was to reproduce all, uh, all fashion uh, denims. And now it has offered a line that is more modern and more uh, adapted to, to the needs of the uh, Western uh, market. Uh, let's, let's see how is this jeans uh, and let's see how accurate it is to the to the model uh, 501-1947. Also, I want to compare with a, a ring to fit 501-1947 produced in Japan. This is a brand new uh, reproduction from, from that age of the archives of uh, Levi's. See, what are, what are the difference and which is uh, better or what is more desirable to have? Let's start with uh, sugar cane first, which is the, the zin I, I really like to, to, to show to you. Uh, in terms of denim, the denim is 14, 20, uh, 1425 ounce uh, made of cotton, um, American and Zimbabwe origin. It's a blend. It's not sugar cane uh, blended, this model. It's not sugar cane blended. They don't use that uh, fibers in this model. Uh, is as I said, it's 1425. Is according to them, is the exact uh, way of thickness of the fabric at that time, because the fire ones at that time was made of cotton mills 12.25 ohms that went after the shrinkage uh, finished in 14 ohms. Let's see how is the construction and see how faithful are the characteristics of this. And this. at the end, let's see the measurements. In terms of uh, construction, it's a high rise. It's a high rise like uh, 1947. The size is, in this case, 38, 36, 38, 36. Has the buttons, OK? Five buttons. Let's see. Expose of them five buttons. See, a stamp with a brand similar to the to the um, Levi's of that age. Yeah. At the buttons is chain stitch. Have you seen here chain stitch? Yeah. Chain stitch. Chain stitch. The color of stitch is very very similar. It's not the same color as Levi's. This is a, a lighter color of the chain stitch because they cannot copy everything and have hidden rivets, hidden rivets. The cloth of the, uh, of the pockets are very thick, very, very thick. Have you seen? It's very thick clothes. Uh, stamp like Levi's, you see? The um, clock pocket or the coin pocket has salvage inside, red salvage, okay? In the back, you see the hide and rivets here. The um, 
uh, loop belts are not attached to the waistband, you've seen here, like uh, the original model, okay, are not attached to the waistband. The le is leather patch with a symbol of sugar cane, I'm gonna show it in the right position, leather patch. The construction, in terms, let's, let's turn inside out. You have the, the um, savage here, and here, yeah, the, the, the really well finished, a really well finished. Look at this, if you can see. It has two lines of stitching, very strong, very, very strong. There's no loose threads, loose threads. This is one wash, this is one wash. It's not unwashed, but it's unsamphorized. It's unsamphorized. But no wash, that was, is 38. They're gonna see with the measurements why is uh, I, I pick up the 38 when it's very, very far away of my my uh, normal size. Okay, pockets are unlined. You can see the pockets are unlined. Okay. Has no marks, no nothing, no designs, nothing, just a simple plain pocket. In terms of the construction, the construction is really good. It's really good. It's sturdy. The, the feeling of the of the um, uh, fabric is quite uneven. It's not smooth, and it's hairy, hairy. As you can see, in this way, it's hairy uh, denim, okay. And it's 14 ohms, but despite 14 ohms, having one wash is really, really. Uh, soft uh, denim. It's one and even. That the, the 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 fact that in the way this was uh, waved this uh, this cotton to produce it, then it's gonna give a really nice fade because it's very very. It's not only uh, tight; it's uneven and very very hairy. That's gonna with the wash. If you wash uh, regularly, uh, that means not that often. <laughs> But uh, you wash these jeans after um, a few wears, you're gonna start to see the the the, um, the fades. It's really really nice uh, feeling of the denim. Let's see the measurements. Let's see why I pick up a 38. Let's start with the waist, which for me is the most important measurement. Let me grab the the measuring tape. Okay, all in inch. Remember, my, my normal waist is approximately 36. Eh? That's why I used to, um, used to buy the 34 in size. In Levi's, I always 34 and it's 36 um, uh, inches then. But uh, usually stretching, my maximum is 39 inches. Then this is 18. 18.5, 18.8. That means it's almost 30, yeah, 37 and, and, and a little bit more. There's one thing uh, and before to move uh, with this. There are two versions, one wash and unwashed, both and sunforized, both when I shrink. But there is one thing. Um, Despite they say this, uh, the one wash is not gonna shrink or gonna have minimal shrinking, be careful because I have re uh, have read in different forums and see a couple of videos and they, despite they being washed this, in these trousers, uh, these jeans, they shrink anyway. And there was a guy who, who, who finished giving, giving up these jeans because uh, it was impossible to wear due to the shrinkage that had after a uh, several wash I don't know uh, how he washed the jeans, but uh, when he bought it, it was one wash. That means be careful with this. If you wash, I, my recommendation, if you're happy with the size, use cold water. Uh, in matter of fact, I always wash my jeans in cold water. Then, you seen, we've seen the, the, um, the waist. 18 point, almost 0 0.8, 0 0.6, more to be more in the safe side. The front rise is 13.5, 13.5, okay? This high rise is really well sit in the hips. The back rise is 
17, the bar rise is 17, 17.2, is very high rise. I think it's, it's really good for the people who has, uh, like to, to sit well these shins in the, in the, in the waist. Uh, the tight is 14, 14, 14 inches. Let's see the knee. Let's see the knee. Just a little bit. Okay, fantastic. 13 is 11. Eh? The knee is 11. And it has very, a lot of room. And the, um, the hem is 10. That means this is slightly tapered. It's not a straight. It's not a straight. It's tapered. It's very, very roomy, very roomy and tapered. Uh, I used to, I used to use a, a slim, a, a slim uh, fit for me. I really like slim fit because I have slim legs. Then the slim fit is, is usually what I like to wear. But in this case, you need to see how when I do the, the fitting test, you're gonna see how this, this fit. Uh, so far, we have a really nice jean with a really nice um, denim, uh, very roomy. I think these jeans are ideal for the people that don't like a slim fit uh, and like straight, and it has problem with the legs, with strong legs. I think this could be a really good, really good option, and is very comfortable uh, denim. Anyway, let's compare now with the 501 um, uh, 1947. Uh, unwash, a shrink to fit. Okay, these are lighter. These are 12.25 uh, 12 ohms eh? Japanese denim. I don't know the, what is the mill that is a uh, sourced uh, Levi's. Eh? It's 1947. This belong to the vintage clothing line. Okay, it's coming with all the, the labels. Okay. The labels is 36, 30, 36, 34. It's not 38. And I start with the difference. Is is uh, this? I when I tried to fit really well. And 34 was just a little bit tight. Even if it's uh, even if I stretch a little bit with the shrinkage, it's gonna finish being being really tight. But um, the 34 fit uh, that I don't like to, to to fit really tight in the waist. Then has leather patch. Yeah, leather patch, 3634. And let's see, we're coming with some some letter, something this. That's not important. Let's see the construction. In terms of the the denim, I don't know where it's the origin. I already say so that uh, is salvage, red salvage, yeah. red salvage thing like uh, is normally in Levi's 501, but I don't know the origin of this. This, when when you start to be in a denim head, you, the the origin of the denim itself is become very important too. Anyway, let's take the 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 C go to the construction. It's thick seat uh, bell loops, yeah, very thick. You have the the how is the rivets has the hidden rivets. Yeah. Stamp it as must be. Yeah, hide and rivets. The construction is chain stitch. Has the buttons. You see the buttons are very similar to a, a sugar cane. And look, look if you can perceive the difference of the denim. We're going to do something. One thing before to move with the with the check out the construction. We already know. See the, the difference of the denim. I don't know if you can appreciate the difference of the denim. Are very very different. Then I think the sugar cane produce better denim. But let's keep uh, seeing what's what's happened here. It has the red tab. Yeah? The red tab with only one side, as it happened at the time with a big E. Only one side. Yeah? This is part of the that um, model at that time. 
to me, I would say in the in the Levi's one uh, one hundred fifteen RSA, there is two two periods. Is between eighteen seventy three and um, the forties, and the second period is uh, from nineteen forty seven toward the, the present. I think the evolution is that uh, to summarize a little bit the evolution of the Levi's. Then, in terms of the cloth, is coming with the well, but the cloth is thinner compared with the sugar cane, is thinner. There are lighter sheens uh, in terms of color and are not uh, at 12.25 12 ohms, which is not gonna, after rinkage, it's not gonna become uh, 14 ohms. That's for sure, 100% sure. Um, let's keep seeing this. Now, let's go to the measurements and see what's the difference. Let's remember the measurements of the, the sugar cane. This is 36. And, and being lighter, it's gonna be more stretching in this than the other. This is 18.6.8. It's the same, same measurement than the waist of the sugar canes. The very same. Let's see the front rise. The front rise is, ta -da! 13, 13 one, similar, similar to the other. The back rise, the back rise, and the back rise is, here we go, this, it come, this, with this, we go here, we go here, 16.8, uh, 16.8, a little bit uh, shorter than the, the sugar cane. See the tide now. And the tide is, the tide is, here we go, 13. Uh, remember the other is wider, the other is wider. Then, 13 here. The knee, 10, the other was 11. There's more room in, in the sugar cane, more room in the sugar cane. Let's see the hem. The hem is nine. Where it's nine. Where the 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 in the sugar cane was ten. This is tapered too. And see the length of the the inseam. With I don't do this with the sugar cane. When I do it in just in a second, the inseam is thirty four. Thirty four. It's enough for me. Eh? Because even with the wrinkage, uh, I can fold it because. Uh, I, I think my ideal is 32, 32 to, uh, to, to cuff. Let's see the inseam of the sugar cane. The sugar cane has an inseam of, it's, it feels so sturdy, the shins. It's amazing. It's amazing. Thirty-five point five. Thirty-five point five. That means it's more close to the to the thirty six. Uh, this the sugar cane. Then, what's the difference between uh, between one on, uh, of the and the other? This is has more are more roomier. These are more roomier, are heavier, and cheaper. <laughs> that's that's true. Eh? Are cheaper, and looks like. Uh, all the energy that put uh, sugar cane to reproduce the, the denim is is has has rewarded in in the, in the way that these things are uh, are constructed. Uh, to me, to me, uh, after looking at a lot of pictures of the people uh, wearing jeans at that time, in the forties and fifties, uh, I think I think the measurements are more closer to the. To the, to the sugar cane than the uh, Levi's 501. I think this is more, if you are looking, if you are looking for a reproduction that is faithful to the, to the time, uh, I think the 1947 is the way to go. You want a slimmer version and still really good quality. I don't deny, I don't take from Levi's uh, Savage uh, shrink to fit that is, not a good quality. It's really good quality. But if your main, the main problem is 
be faithful to the age is this. It's, it's, it's go for a sugar cane. Quality-wise, are, are fantastic both. But I think in terms of uh, side to soil quality, is a little bit superior to the sugar cane. In, in, in my, my opinion, in my, my humble opinion, one can think, if you think different, please uh, write in the comments below and let me know why you think is, is, uh, is better or maybe uh, is, is more worthy the device than the sugar cane. But if I must choose, if say, tell me which one do you keep? Sugar cane, for sure, sugar cane. Despite it's a buggy, it's a buggy. You need to learn how to wear this. It's, 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 that's very important. But I think it's the way to go if you're looking to be faithful to to, to the time. Okay, let's see how they fit and and see what is the best in terms of fitting. See outside. Okay, this is how fit the, the sugar cane. This is the front. Okay, the hands. You see high uh, high rise. The top block sit really well, have space still. Uh, maybe there's going to be some some shrinkage in this. I, I think I think that's going to happen. Anyway, I have cuff, simple single cuff. You say high, like uh, used to use in the the white one Marlon Brando. Uh, not these boots, different boots of course. The side, okay. The back, uh, the other side. Okay, I'll fit this. These are very roomy, are very, <laughs> I really like it. I'm not a friend of this kind of fit, but in this case, I really like it. I've never tried before the 1947 uh, style fit, yeah? but uh, this seems really, really good. Uh, I really like it, I really like it. Uh, let's try now the, the um, Levi's 501 and see which one are you like more and what are my final thoughts. Okay, let's change. Okay, this is how fit the Levi's 501 1947. This is uh, sit really well in the in the hip like uh, sugar cane. There is uh, less roomy in the legs. Okay, are less roomy. A very high, a very high rise. The same rise than that's minimal difference with this sugar cane. You see the side. Okay, the back. See the back. And the other side. Uh, the fit is slightly different. It's slightly different. Then you need to pick what you like more. If more roomier or more slim, that's depend on you. But I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. Okay, before to move on with the my final thoughts, please uh, subscribe and give me a thumbs up that helped me to grow this channel. For me, to me, what do you think about it? I think in terms of quality and construction, both are really good quality and construction. It's undeniable that. But sugarcane, I think, are a little bit about price, price tag. Uh, Levi's, 250 pounds, uh, 50 pounds. I have this kind of 50 pounds. I was lucky, but otherwise it's 250 pounds, these jeans. Sugarcane from Inoja, I bought it and without no change in the price or whatsoever, any problem whatsoever, 152 pounds. Then, uh, in a style, I think are more faithful to, uh, uh, to 1947, to, to, to that time, uh, sugar cane than uh, Levi's. It's my impression after doing research, seeing a lot of pictures, I think are more faithful. Uh, if you're looking for, for um, uh, uh, faithful to, to, uh, to the time is sugar cane. And the last, uh, the last point is what kind of fit do you like? Looser fit or more slim fit? Then you, you have your choice there. For me, to me, both are, are really good. Both are pretty good. And in matter of fact, I'm gonna keep both of them. Uh, but every have, everyone has his place in my wardrobe, but for me, when I, I like uh, to collect, uh, I'm a collector of jeans, I'm a denim head, but anyway. Well, see you in the next, and thank you so much if you have been here. Bye, see you.